So we've got sunshine out there heading into your Thursday afternoon. It's going to be a really nice one. Just nowhere near as warm as it was yesterday. That cold front that brought the few showers we had to deal with yesterday has cleared the Commonwealth. And of course, the chillier air has settled in, but sure is nice to see that sunshine again. That's our live view from Keeneland. Uh, we've also got a live view downtown the Lexington Financial Center. You can see some of the clouds that are drifting by reflected in the windows uh, here in Lexington. Pepper Rick House, another bright blue view and the max track, nothing to show. So those showers are gone. We've got what could be quite a, a bit of rain heading our way into the weekend, though. This is the surface map, high pressure, uh, extensive ridge of it. Uh, you've got a uh, high off toward the east coast and another one building in for tomorrow to our northwest. What's coming in from the southwest is a different setup. The overall setup for today, rain spreading in from down south right there is Kentucky, and eventually it's going to graze us. So southeastern county is mainly going to be in on it. Uh, here in Lexington, we're going to be kind of running the dividing line, but there'll be a round of widespread showers pushing to our south tomorrow. And tomorrow up on the north side, it'll be a flat out winter storm across the Great Lakes. So they're going to be dealing with snow up there. Winter not over, even though we've had a bit of a reprieve here. Still technically late February, but temperatures are going to actually be trending up going into the weekend. So here comes the high. This will set up a little bit of a tussle here as this ridge builds in and moisture tries to stream in across the southern border. Uh, the two fighting it out and we are going to be running that dividing line. Notice how the rain is most widespread southeast, some snow at the higher elevations of the mountains. And then you rapidly dry out in the northwestern counties. That is kind of showing how the entire weekend is going to play out. More substantial wave along with a warm front going into early Saturday morning. Probably some thunder, some rumbles mixed in with that. A few thunder showers, but mainly moderate rain. So heavier rain than the lighter stuff coming in tomorrow afternoon and morning. But then with this front hung up, we'll see another wave of low pressure spinning up. And the cumulative effect is going to be multiple rounds of rain through the weekend and a spiking rain chance later in the weekend that maximizes around Saturday night into Sunday. So this shows the 30 day percentage of normal precipitation. We're well over 100% approaching 200% in spots. We had all that snow and ice through February. Uh, of course, you melt it down and you got soggy ground out there and a lot of folks are dealing with that right now. How about throwing a few more inches of rain onto that going into the weekend? Now, this is just projecting uh, general amounts over the next five days. This isn't coming in tonight, uh, but you can see that band that does clip southern Kentucky, but you also notice how fast that gradient drops off uh, or uh, how tight that gradient is, how fast the precipitation drops off into northern Kentucky. There'll be some folks that stay fairly dry through the weekend. The farther southeast you go, though, the more likely you are to get wet. We're in the low 40s, the winds out of the north, but it's nowhere near the gusty stuff we had to deal with yesterday, 5, 10 miles per hour. Wind gusts are gone, except for that 14 mile per hour gust out in Moorhead. But notice the temperature climb into the weekend. Yeah, we do warm up into the 50s along with that surge of moisture. So for today, enjoy it. We're going to be in the upper 40s here in the bluegrass. Uh, 48 in Georgetown. You pop out into eastern Kentucky, up towards Flemingsburg, upper 40s. The same in Moorhead could hit 50 as you get down around Stanton and Campton. And into our far southeastern counties, it's more of the same, just a little bit warmer. Low to mid 50s for highs for you folks. And the eight day shows temperatures climbing, but that rain chance rising. Best chance for the heaviest rain, more than likely looking like Saturday night into Sunday morning.